everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris and you can call me Chris and this is Channel 5 News at whatever time you're watching this. Our top stories today, you make my palms sweaty every time I look at you because you're so attractive and we are reviewing and rating the worst tattoos on the internet. Over to you, Chris. All right, so we're looking at some bad tattoos and I'm gonna rate them because my opinion matters. Okay, 10 being the worst, one being actually pretty decent. Let's get into it. What's the tattoo? What's it? Oh, see, I love that. It's fun. It's not gonna last long because it's on your palm. I give that like a two out of 10. I would totally get this tattoo, but I can't right now because avocado. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know that I won. Okay. Um, so I got this tattoo. Um, she won. I've wanted it for a couple of years. Basically, Worst it's tattoo. like, you know, being true to yourself and real and like not okay. pretending to be something you're not. Okay. I got this March 4th, 2020. March 4th, 2020. Oh, it's start of COVID. It says, courageously and radically refuse to wear a mask. I'm gonna give that a solid 10 out of 10. Wear your mask. Why would you get that? <laughs> you go. Season what seven, episode 12, minute nine, second what? 36. Of what show? Of The Office, and you'll of get the this. Office. Oh my God, I love this idea. I am dead inside. Mood! <laughs> You know what? I don't have any tattoos, so I probably shouldn't be judging people with tattoos, but if I ever get a tattoo, it's gonna be something like this, where it's gonna be obscure and just a timestamp of something about how I always feel. This is very accurate. I might get this tattoo. One out of 10, because I would totally get it. Has he got flip flops? tattooed onto his feet and it's all like, that looks like a skin disease. That's an eight out of 10. What are you doing? Stop it. What the f Oh, a nightmare. I think I've had a dream about this thing before and it ate my soul. 10 out of 10, that's terrible. I would cry if that was on my body. Sorry to whoever's tattoo this is, but clearly you don't like it either. Are her eyebrows tattooed like that? But it's kind of cute. It's kind of a vibe, kind of love it. Mm. I wouldn't do it, five out of 10. Thing is, I don't even regret it. You don't regret it? What the f Damn shoddy, okay. What is this? Is she blowing his job? That is a 10 out of 10. That is, you should regret that, okay? I'm gonna be your mom right now. Go get that removed. I'm gonna pay for it. Reach out to me. I'm gonna pay for it for you. Get that off your body. Right now. Oh, Eeyore, that's so cute. And it looks like it's really well done. That's a oh, good no. tattoo. What happened to Eeyore's tail? What, oh yeah, he always loses his tail. Oh my god, the duck! <laughs> that's so cute! I would totally get that. One out of ten. That's fantastic. I love that tattoo. Yours a vibe. He's my spirit animal. Probably not good. But... Don't want to ruin everyone's good time. What is your tattoo? Left? Is that what that is? And then do you have a right? I still have to do this. This is my concealed firearm. Concealed firearm, that's funny as shit. I love that. Two out of 10. These are good. These are supposed to be like the worst tattoos. I love that, good job. I love a good pun that's on you forever. Oh my gosh. That's kind of good though, cause it's like on the bottom of your foot. Who's gonna see that, you know? Unless you're with somebody that's like really into feet. You're nasty if you into feet. I don't kink shame, but you kind of nasty, not gonna lie. <laughs> I give that a uh, five out of 10. I'm impartial. I don't want to brag, but I feel like this is made for me. I am oh, okay. covered in dumb tattoos. Love that. I got that's, this because that's terrifying. it's on the wall. It's a naked chick. Naked chick, it doesn't have feathers. That is funny. One out of 10, I love it. I got soap in my armpit. Nice. Because why not? Yeah. One out of 10, I, I love all these. I a mustache tattooed on my finger. I, would I get got that a too. mustache over top the mustache because the first mustache wasn't big enough. <gasps> Commitment, I love it. Honestly, that would make my job a whole lot easier than like sticking stashes on my face for work, for my skit, my skit purposes. <laughs> you probably can't tell what this is, but is that's that? a piece of corn and that's supposed to be turds. That's a dirty Sanchez. What's a dirty Sanchez again? I'll Google it. Dirty Sanchez. A dirty Sanchez is a sexual situation where a man is laying on some pipe doggy style while in the midst of the act, he inserts his fingers into the woman's Oh, that's that dog. I don't know what that's called, but it was like a meme. And it's just a dog that goes Hapa, 
<gasps> they're cute. They're dogs. One out of ten. You can never regret getting a dog on your arm. 100%. Interrupting the video to thank today's wonderful sponsor, which is Native. As you guys know, I am all about using sustainable products. And switching to plastic-free products with products like Native is exactly how I'm doing that. Native's plastic-free deodorant uses the same formula as their regular deodorant, but with much more sustainable packaging. It is made of paperboard, and Native is a proud partner of 1% for the planet, committing to 1% of plastic-free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. I love the fact that it dries quickly, it's non-sticky, it's vegan and cruelty-free, it's aluminum and paraben-free, and it's made with simple ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. And with all the running around and filming and workouts that I do when I try to do it, I do need a deodorant that lasts 24 hours and Native's deodorant truly does last 24 hours. I have the lavender rose, the coconut vanilla, and my personal favorite, it smells so good, is the tie-dye vanilla cupcake. My armpits smell like cupcakes. I never I knew I wanted that, but I do. Usually three plastic free deodorants would be $39. But if you use my link in the description and my code call me Chris, you'll get them for $26. That's over 33% off. And you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste using my code as well. So thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. Patrick, my dead fish. That's really clever. I like that. He turned a scar into a tattoo. I always like this. It was in a weird spot, but that's fine. I give it a, a three out of 10. Oh, no, rainbow suspenders. <laughs> oh my God. But I love it. Still eight out of 10 though. I, I wouldn't get that, no. It says arm. I have an arm on my leg. That's six out of 10. I don't know anymore. What the f is going on? What is this? Is it a Bobby pin? Is maybe this guy's name's Bob. If this guy's name's Bob and that's a pin, it's funny. I give it a three out of 10. I'd get it, but smaller. It's like halfway up your forearm. That's interesting. All right, we got the F U right there and the C K right there. Calvin Klein. <laughs> Calvin Klein. He's expensive. He's labeled himself as bougie. I give it still like an eight out of 10. It looks like it was drawn on by me when I was two. Right, right and left. It's on the wrong it's foot. The wrong feet. Yeah, what? 10 out of 10, what are you? Raisin hell. It's a raisin and he's in hell. I love a good pun. Still gonna give you seven out of 10 though. I would not get that. And it also looks like I drew it when I was like five years old. I could do better when I was five years old. That was, that's terrible. <laughs> Present to you. Oh my gosh. Hey. A croissant moon. A croissant moon? <laughs> oh, I love croissants and I love the moon. I see nothing wrong with this. It's a one out of 10. I would get it too. No llamas with hats. No Paul yeah. and Carl. Yeah. Yeah, these two Almost stupid with hats. Fingers. Yeah. I have Paul on my ankle. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. One out of 10. I like little friend tattoos. That's fun. I now have a camel toe. toe for the rest of my life. Camel toe. I've seen this one before and I like it. It's small. It's not regrettable. It's funny. You can take it out at a party. I don't recommend you take your feet out at a party unless you're at a specific party, which now we're back to the feet, which is kind of gross. Anyway, I give it, you know, a two out of 10. I would get this just for the laughs, you know? And my feet are kind of gross too. I don't like my feet. I gotta start talking about feet in this video. We're gonna start with handsome Squidward. E I love this statue. There's He's even got like lips, lip glue. What the f What's the f just happened to me? He's got lip gloss on. One out of ten. I mean, I wouldn't personally get it, but I would love to look at it. Actually, we have Jesus. Psst, try DMT. <laughs> I don't know what DMT is. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I think it's Drugas. I don't really know. Then I love that. we have, where's my, where's my jewel? Jewel. <laughs> and my personal favorite. Have be safe. Oh my gosh, these are great. I wouldn't get any of them, but I still rate them one out of 10 because I think they're all fabulous. One of my friends way back in the day decides mm -hmm. it'd be a really amazing idea to get the middle part of the Korean flag on our shoulder. Okay, yeah, the circle. Keep in mind, yeah. the person that gave us the tattoo is also Korean. Yeah, we okay. We wake up the next day and realize- okay. Is it upside down? It's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. With a really clever <laughs> reason why we decided to do this. Yeah. And we both came to the conclusion that we would tell our friends that we did this because we can do this. Smart. That is big brain right there. Check out the big brain on bread. It went from 10 out of 10 to 1 out of 10 immediately. I wouldn't have even rated a 10 out of 10. It's definitely a 1 out of 10. You're a smart mother. I have an entire lawnmower crew on my. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I'm fine with hair and all this kind of stuff with those tattoos. Bruh. I don't know why. Stomach tattoos. I'll look at the. I'll give him a chance. I'm not going to judge immediately. I judged immediately. What am I saying? Dude's weed whacking. He's weed whacker. Oh. He's drinking a beer. All right. Hey, we got a little leaf blower. Oh my God. He's got so many. A little push mower. Oh my God. Oh, and he's cutting out does three. How many yeah. does he have? Pretty young, pretty dumb, but it's still pretty funny. You know what, Todd? But your name is Todd. It is funny. Kind of gross, but it's funny. I'll, 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 I'll give you an 8.5 out of 10, okay? It's not the worst, not the best, though, Todd. You can do better. Blast <laughs> <laughs> I love it so <laughs> Three out of 10. Yeah, basically my dad tattooed me when I was six. What? I think that's a crime. I think that's like defacing property, but it's your child. Is your child property? No, that's illegal. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I love a portrait tattoo. Oh my God, is it? It's so bad. That's when I was like 12 and I like drew people like their portraits and I was like, I know. It's like, it basically could be a picture, but then they look at it and they look like that. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so bad. It's maybe a little bit Picasso. Okay, I like it, Picasso. That is a 10 out of 10. That is the 10 out of 10 of this video. It does not get worse than that. Let's see. And is he proud of it? Does he like it at least? Oh my god, look at the hands. Why does she have little veins coming in her head? She only has four fingers. Oh, I guess the thumbs on the inside. I guess it's anatomically kind of correct, I guess. I like this little hair coming down there. It looks like she's wearing like a swimming cap and then she's got like something dripping down her face. Oh, it looks so bad. He's not saying so anything sad. though. Is this real? I'm so sorry. What I thought my snake tattoo was gonna look like. Okay. What does it look like? <laughs> it looks like a turd, darling. Not gonna lie. I'm sorry. I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. That's rough. Were you just not looking at the tattoo when he was tattooing it? That's what I'm so confused by, is that these tattoos are happening in places where you can watch them happen, but you let it happen. That's on you for life. You've been branded. I'd be like this, watching somebody tattoo me. <laughs> I don't understand. I got a tattoo before quarantine. This is what I showed. Oh, that looks difficult. This is what he gave me. It looks like it's just unfinished. I think you could salvage that, kinda. I love how it's just an eyeball. It kinda looks like my eyes, doesn't it? Does it? Tell me I'm burning. <laughs> I'll give it a five out of 10, cause I feel like it's unfinished and it could be fixed. We could salvage this. Just like my face, okay? We can all glow up. Thank you so much for watching Channel 5 News with our top story about the worst tattoos. I, I, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do the outro. I'm just gonna do it right <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. I probably shouldn't be the person judging tattoos given that I don't have any tattoos, but if you enjoyed the video, please like the video. Tell me about if you have a bad tattoo and I'll be sure to answer you down in the comments below and tell me, tell me what it is because I'm very interested if you guys have any bad tattoos. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is obviously bestest YouTube channel ever and I will see your beautiful face in the next video. Okay, bye